Legal letters have been sent to the government as opposition to the budget bailout plans for CL Financial intensifies. Speaking with CNC3 today, Deputy Chairman of the Clico Policy Holders Group, Peter Permel, said the legal challenges have begun. Maybe the, the train has already left the station in terms of litigation. I understand that uh, legal letters have been sent out to the Prime Minister, the Minister of Finance and the Governor of the Central Bank with respect to this particular issue. And uh, I, th I, um, I think that um, they've given them one week to respond. Sources say the legal letters call on the government to justify the decision to dispose of CL's assets and particularly the constitutionality of actions by the finance minister in this matter. Already there are legal challenges. Those include government agencies that are trying to safeguard their investments. Mr. Permel also said the newly formed Clico Policy Holders Group is also looking closely at recent statements made by Attorney General Anand Ram Logan in the Senate, where the AG said moves were underway to amend the Central Bank Act and vast matters related to the CL financial fiasco with the office of the Attorney General. Our understanding or reading of that and some of the advice we have gotten is that that may be a move afoot to scuttle any litigation that may be brought against either the central bank or the government of Trinidad and Tobago. A very large turnout is expected at tomorrow's meeting of policyholders and shareholders. The event has been moved from the Cascadia Hotel to the more spacious Centerpoint Mall in Chagonas. There was an initial call for Finance Minister Winston Dukran to meet with the new group within 24 hours. Mr. Permel said that deadline has passed. The Finance Minister has not yet responded to our call for a meeting with him. Uh, I think there's been a deafening silence. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know the reason for that. But we have also extended an invitation to him via the media to attend tomorrow's uh, uh, meeting because, as you know, he's the one who's proposing this particular bill or plan and he should be able to justify and defend his plan in the midst of those policyholders who are going to be affected. For CNC3, I'm Satish Mahabur.